uh, this is basic, basically your first uh, TV show where you extensively work as a, as a director. We know that cinema and TV has a different pacing also in terms yeah. of how to get people attention. So yeah. how do you work on that from a filmmaking point of view? Well, it's a good, po it's a good question. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> this is my first, I mean, ultimately it's like making a movie. I mean, you do, you know, it's just a more fragmented process, you know, because this episode then, you know, so it's, it's, but, but ultimately, you know, you have set, you got camera, you got cast. So, you know, I, I kind of treated it like a movie. You know what I mean? It just it doesn't have the same kind of structure each episode. You know, it's a slower kind of burn, if that makes any sense. You know, it's not like so first act, second, third act. You know, it's just a bit more, you know, slower in terms of the, the pace of, not the pace of making it, actually, it's, it's a... You know, you do a lot more setups. It's a lot quicker. You have to do a lot more setups per day. But in terms of the, the the material, it's a slower kind of thing, which was very interesting. And how do you deal with the fact that for uh, the first time since Pee Wee's Big Adventure, you won't have to deal with the first weekend at the box office? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I know, I know. Honestly, yeah. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> it's like a vacation. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, people love Tim Burton because uh, uh, even when he works on characters and stories created by other people, you you uh, put your own vision, yeah. your yeah. own twist uh, on this kind of story. Um, now you're working with characters created by Charles Adams, with I guess with Edward Gorey is an important artist for you. Yeah. So how do you work on on this TV show to? Get right. your vision right. Well, I mean, I wouldn't do it unless I felt, like I said, when I read it, I got, you know, I felt like that was me, you know, like I was a boy version of Wednesday in school. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. so, so uh, I, I, you know, in whatever changes we make, I always felt respectful to the material because I felt it. Do you know what I mean? So, so even though Wednesday's a teenager now, you know, not a child as you usually portrayed, you know, we still try to keep true to the spirit of what we felt was. Charles at you know what 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 his what the inspiration was yeah. so you know I, I always feel like I said I don't think too much about it I just felt like I connect with this character and so I feel like it can really I understand it so Netflix basically invented binge watching but what <laughs> do you suggest to to people to binge watch the show or to take small I, I don't know you know there's there's two schools of thought with that I mean I know some people that like one week and then the next week and then you know I mean I get that yeah. but then I also get the other so I kind of feel like you know mixed about it I, I, I get that thing about I think it depends on the show and the thing you know and, and people I, I, I think people a choice is good in a way but uh, I'm somewhere in between the two <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> so uh, I know that while you were in Lyon speak, uh, and you were speaking uh, with Monsieur Fremont, you told that uh, while uh, in all the COVID situation, you also thought about making maybe a new movie. But would you like to to work with Netflix also on a movie since that cinema was changing and has changed yeah. during the pandemic? Well, I mean, it, yeah, it has, but then it's kind of come back. And I, I think I think there's some sort of medium ground to where, look, at uh, they finance some movies that, that most studios wouldn't finance. You know what I mean? So that's a very positive thing. You know, and then however you work out what's theatrical and what's TV, you know, that, that, that again, it's open for discussion, I think. And certain things... You know, could be simultaneous certain things you want to see a little bit maybe in a cinema and then it can go to, you know, so I think there, 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 there still seems like there's maneuvering room to, it, it should be based on which individual things, you know, and, uh, but, you know, like I said, on the positive side, I think they've, they've financed movies that most, that most studios wouldn't have, so. So, as my last question, uh, I don't know if you saw the interview uh, released by Alan Moore, which he said basically that a character that we both love is, is a kind of a fascist. Yeah. So, what do you think about this statement? Because basically, I, I, I don't agree too much. Well, no, I mean, he's very, he is who he is, isn't he? And he, he, he you know, he, that, that's the thing about comics. You can kind of read anything into it, whatever you want to read into yeah. it. I, I mean, for me, I, I didn't see it that way. I, for me, and I have my own kind of vision of it, it was like, it was like that it's like that sort of duality of yeah. a person you know like there's light and dark within everybody and then there's something that's you know it's a bit the phantom of the opera kind of a thing or something hidden behind a mat you know i mean I, those are the vibes i got from it do you know what i mean and but i i can see what he's talking about and he obviously he's 
a major force in, in, in that. So, I mean, you know, he, he can say whatever he wants. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>